Hello everyone and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we're doing a bit of an upgrade. We're doing an upgrade on that baby over there. That's my main computer and it has a lot of devices plugged into it, especially on USB. Keyboard, mice, stream deck, microphone and other devices all plugged into it. And sometimes I think it struggles a bit with all the different devices and I have to unplug them sometimes, plug them back in so that they work. This one is a power one basically it comes with a power lead that you can plug into your computer or into your psu and uh, hopefully it will resolve any issues where sometimes i have to unplug and plug them back in again so hopefully that will sort that out this will this will give me five and you can add another two more usbs to it we're not going to be worrying about that five should be plenty with all the other ones in there as well it should be more than enough so uh, with that we'll do the unboxing there's nothing much to look at on the box. Some information on the back. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read that because it's quite shiny. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? So USB 3.1, like I said, will run at 10 gigabytes. This will run at 5 gigabytes. Let's get that box and see what you get for your money. So the power leads. Yeah, so you've got a Molex connection, also you've got uh, ESATA connections, uh, male and female, so that'd be perfect. So you can either plug it in, power it up with your uh, Molex or ESATA. Perfect. So uh, I might need that, I might not. I've got loads anyway. Uh, cut the screws. Uh, we'll do that bit last. Uh, it comes with a CD, and the CD is not for windows 8 or 10 because windows 8 and 10 will recognize it anyway uh, but it is mainly for older operating systems so you might need the cd we're not going to be using the cd it should just work fine comes with some instructions tells you all about it i'm not going to bother reading that neither we're just going to plug her in but we will have a look around it it should like look like that one now and it does pretty much yeah so there's a qc passed on the back <clears throat> it says usb 3.0 so like i said that runs at up to five gigabytes i'm not sure what sort of speed we're going to get out of it yeah looks quite nice quite tiny should plug in easy enough i have one in there already uh, but it's not a powered one it's just one that's connected to the motherboard uh, so we'll be taking that one out and using this one. So with that, we'll do the installation.
Right, so we had some issues. As you can see, I've got five plugged in, five USBs plugged in. Some are USB 2s and some are 3s. And I've got none plugged in up there. They're all spare now. I just wanted to test it to its max. I've got some more devices to plug in, but they'll be going in up here. And not down there. So we had some issues. And it was a bit weird. These issues we have. As you can see, that's the card that's running, that one there. Uh, it needs power. Um, it wouldn't work with my power leads. I don't know why. I connected uh, extra power lead in and it wouldn't work. I unplugged the power lead and it would work without the power lead, but then I had code 10 on the uh, device manager on the USB connection. So I'm not sure why. I'm wondering if their wiring's a bit uh, different to theirs, uh, to, to normal. So what I've done, this is their wiring, this bit here, and I've covered it in um, electrical tape to make it black because it, otherwise it's quite bright with its multi-colours and I plugged it into one of my cables that goes into the power supply and when I plugged in one of my other cables which is exactly the same as that into my power supply it wouldn't work so I have no idea whether that's the power supply playing up I don't know it's quite a good power supply it's a EVGA one of my favourites but yeah it's working fine right so we're all finished as you can see it's up and running everything seems to be working fine yeah, that's working okay my keyboard plugged into it my mouse my stream deck my mic what's that one two three four and my logitech is plugged in actually we just proved the point because i don't think I've got, oh, I've got it switched on. Now, yeah. even that's plugged in. Hello. Right, after testing it a few times, turning the PC on and off, it wouldn't work. It stopped working. I unplugged it, plugged it back in, reconnected all the cables, made sure they're all in properly, tried it in a different slot, and I kept getting the same issue. It wouldn't pick up any of my devices that was plugged into it. And when I went into the computer and I looked at the uh, universal serial bus controller which is where your USB is I was getting on one device which was this I was getting code 10 which tells me it's either a corrupt driver or the same one with this and I uninstalled the drivers I reinstalled the drivers I uninstalled the device reinstalled the device and it still kept coming up with the same errors I tried searching for the company online I couldn't find anything about them so she's going back and it's going to give my fun down. So after spending a, a day messing about with this, it turned out to be uh, not very good for us. It might just be something to do with my computer, but I put my old one back in and that's running fine. So we'll leave that for now. I've got a new one coming, but it'll be a different make. And the other thing I liked about this other one that's coming, uh, there is the actual people that produce it actually showing you how to do the installation you know i know how to do it anyway but they've actually picked pictures up to show people how to do the installation and i can contact them quite easily whereas i couldn't find it any way of contacting these so with that does it get yorkies thumbs up uh, uh unfortunately not if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe thank you very much for watching oh well Back to the drawing board.